Hello, all my Geminis, and welcome to your monthly reading for the month of December. We're going to go ahead and jump right in, and we're going to start off by pulling a card here from these Chakra reading cards. And this is just going to be what the Creator wants you to know overall about the energies for the month of December. So let me give it one more little shuffle here. All right, Creator, for our Geminis, what would you like them to know about their December, please? Okay, no, I said not any of those. Okay, this is the one right there. And you have visualization, card number 28. Beautiful card there. So definitely seeing things from a different perspective or a clearer perspective. And let's take a look here. Of course, this is the third eye chakra, so it is about connecting to the higher realm, seeing things from that higher point of view. And you've attracted this card into your awareness today because this is a creative time of visualization for you. Visualization is a tool for manifesting your desires and dreams and a powerful way for you to receive visions and messages from the spirit world. When we visualize, we activate the third eye chakra and yours is currently expanding and awakening. You're encouraged to practice exercises that enhance this process, such as meditation and breath work. The color of the third eye chakra is violet, so you may uh, like to imagine this color streaming into your third eye as it expands and awakens to its full potential. In this opening, you'll receive strong visions and deep wisdom. Trust what is coming through for you. You will also deepen your intuition and your psychic abilities as the third eye awakens. You are receiving strong signs and messages from your guides from the spirit world. It's important that you slow down for a moment and go within to see what you're being shown. You could also be receiving signs from the earthly world and are encouraged to pay more attention to the visions around you. So this card could also represent that you are in a phase of creating and are being asked to visualize strongly what you would like to manifest in your world. This is a very exciting time. Tune into your heart and bring forth the ideas and visions that are appearing to assist you on the next phase of your journey. This card can also be a sign that you need to take more notice of the visions in your dreams. Whatever this card means for you, make sure you nurture this powerful process as it brings you an abundance of gifts at this time. So beautiful. I love that you are going to be getting tons of messages from the spirit world during this month of December and kind of have like this eight of wands feeling to it, which is all these messages from spirit coming in, you know, through your mind, through your outside, through your emotions. It's like you're just going to be bombarded with all these beautiful messages coming from the outside. So there's this opportunity because um, it's like the veil is going to be very thin um, during the month of December for you. And if you are mourning the loss of an individual or missing someone that was in this earthly plane that's no longer here, and if this is the first holiday or the second holiday or, um, you know, can be many holidays since they've um, transitioned to the other side, you have an opportunity to lower the fear noise and lower the noise of the chaotic world and uh, be able to hear the messages be able to see all those messages that are coming in you just need to focus on raising your vibration from one of fear and all that uh, physical earthly chaotic noise and raise it to one of unconditional love and joy and peace and laughter and when you raise your vibration and frequency up there that's where the spirit is speaking at that's their like the frequency at which they talk and communicate and if we can raise then we can hear that more clearly and more distinctly so i love this for you um we're also going to pull a card here um i what i've been doing with all my monthlies up to this point anyway is i take a um 
a tarot deck and I split out the major arcana from the four suits of the minor arcana. And for the major arcana, this is gonna be like this card here where it represents what the creator wants you to know overall for the month of December. And then we'll get into the minor arcana in just a moment and I'll explain it when we get to there. All right, creator for our Geminis, what else would you like them to know about their month of December, please? What else would you like them to know? Geminis for December. There's a lot of energy in the cards, just so please make it very clear. Okay, <laughs> thank you. So you've got the Emperor. Take a look there here. So the Emperor um, has two sides of it um, coming into this reading. And let me just line those up there. There we go. Um, you know, one side of the Emperor is the loving Emperor who organizes, takes control of things, focuses things, um, guides others, um, is like a leader, uh, a loving leader who has the intentions of everyone else in mind as it creates rules and as it um, applies its power to and, and influence to the outside world, right? So this definitely is coming in as this um, focus, this energy, and I almost kind of feel like these these antlers in this one are like the antennas. It's definitely, you know, about connecting to your third eye as you make decisions. Um, let love and let your heart be your guide. You know, definitely with this third eye, it's about connecting to the higher world. Because the other side of the emperor, which is the human influence side of the shadow side of ourselves, is when um, fear enters in and we try to control everything outside of us. We try to make people do what we think they should do and supposed to do, need to do, have to do. We have our opinion um, that is based in feeling safe, um, trying to control and trying to do things in the outside world. It would be giving love with expectation, you know, giving love because you want validation back. Whereas the emperor the loving emperor fills up with this um, confidence and this so solid feeling of love within, you know, especially if you connect to the upper world and the spirit world, you feel the unconditional love of the creator and all of those beings of unconditional love and light on the other side, just loving you for who you are. You fill up solid in that foundation and everyone gets the overflow no expectations it just is extra you're getting all this love flowing in so the love just flows out there's no expectation on what you're getting back there's no expectation of control or a desire or desperation to control it's just giving and flowing with this beautiful love so that's this awareness that comes during december that every moment is a choice between control uh, and the fear of losing conditional love and the beautiful feeling of peace, joy, laughter, of unconditional love, no conditions. So I love that that's the foundation for you here. We'll of course get more details and we're gonna start off with the suit of its staves, but which is wands. Um, and because this is the fire element, um, it's gonna represent your spiritual adventure during the month of December, you know, the wands are also like your drive, your ambition, your aha inspiration, the spark within you, um, you know, but it's spiritual energy. So creator for our Geminis, what would you like them to know about their spiritual adventure in the month of December? And I feel like that is the one that wants to jump out here. Yep, and you got the Prince of Staves or the Prince of Wands. Um, and what I love is that um, the, it's normally called like the page of wands in the, um, I'm sorry, no, in, um, uh, in this deck, this would normally be the, the, the knight. So the knight of wands in other decks. So, um, and you can take a look here. They very much have a lot of air energy, the, the knight of wands. And so 
they have like the intellect that they bring in, which you being an air sign can totally relate to this. Um, but also it's about putting action behind the spirit, spiritual side. And that totally fits into what this card was talking about is it's important to take steps in your spiritual adventure that's coming up, right? Um, because you do have this wonderful opportunity with the veil being so thin to connect to the other side, to really expand your awareness and that clarity of hearing from that realm. So um, I love that this is that message of yes, definitely putting the action and taking steps, whether, and you know what it is that you um, do to help you get to a quiet place. Is it getting out into nature? Is it painting? Is it a nice hot bath with you know, candles and locking the world out? Um, is it just going for a simple walk, you know, in the park? Whatever it is that you know that helps bring you that peace and that quiet into your life, do that because um, it's important for you to quiet the noise of the chaotic world um, and really connect to that, you know, love. And, you know, the holidays are coming up. Um, these are coming out like close to Thanksgiving, these readings um, in the United States. And then also, of course, the uh, Christmas, Hanukkah, um, Kwanzaa, you know, those celebratory type of holidays are coming up. Um, and so, you know, like I mentioned, you could be feeling the loss of someone in your life, but this is a developing a new connection and a new awareness of being able to speak to them in addition to your guardian angels and your angels and your spirit guides and creator and spirit and unicorns and fairies and your ancestors, whatever else you believe in those beings of unconditional love and light. Such a great opportunity for this, which brings us right into these angel reading cards, which we're going to see what else. <clears throat> the creator would like you to know about your spiritual adventure during December. <clears throat> All right, creator for our Geminis, what else would you like them to know about their spiritual adventure in December, please? the one right here and you've got the angel of channeling well definitely this is totally fitting to what we were talking about <clears throat> pardon me and that is card number 26 So your spiritual awareness is opening to new levels. <laughs> Trust in the guidance you're receiving from above. Totally in line with this whole, you know, December for you. So you receive this card because your angel of channeling feels it's time for you to explore your psychic gift of channeling. As a spirit being, you were born with many gifts. And when the time is right to utilize these gifts, the angelic teacher will appear. Your angel of channeling has noticed how hard you've been working to uncover your gift of channeling. Your angel wants to guide you in the right direction so that you can begin to work with and explore your gift. It's important to be patient and observant, observant when developing any new talent. So your angel of channeling wants you to take time out so that you can connect with you via meditation. Set aside at least 20 to 30 minutes a day so that you can center yourself and lift your vibration to enable you and your angel to connect. You may choose to listen to some soothing background music or engage in a guided meditation to assist you with making the connection. When you do make your connection with your angel of channeling, observe carefully the information she shares with you. Make sure you write it down in a journal for future reference. In time, the knowledge your angel of channeling shares with you will make sense. <laughs> I love that. And, and please know that channeling um, doesn't necessarily, you know, have to mean that you um, 
are channeling those that have passed and or channel channeling you know sometimes um, you can channel star seed um, communities um, a variety of beings on the other side channeling um, is all-encompassing I mean you it, it's channeling message is you you become like a, a radio station for the creator is how I look at it for the spirit world you're able to bring in messages from all sorts of those beings of unconditional love and light um, it's about having an open heart and willingness to share that love with the world those messages of love there's this love energy that comes in and you can be channeling that love by sending love to people you may not in the beginning um, want or feel comfortable like giving specific messages to people you know that come through this is channeling you know um, so don't limit yourself by what the definition of a, a channel might mean because everyone has different meanings of it let your connection with the other world let um, your relationship that you develop with spirit with the creator with like i said your guardian angels and your angels and your spirit guides and your loved ones on the other side your ancestors whatever beings of unconditional love and light let that relationship develop um, how you uniquely want to share that unconditional love with the world how you want to do that you can be that channel people can be a channel that paint you know bringing through messages and energy and how they paint sometimes you look at a painting and you're just moved by it i um, mean it's because the love energy was in that creation so you know um, it can be in in cooking you can channel um you know beautiful love energy um in baking and cooking meals for people so don't limit on how you can channel but um definitely <laughs> the message is it's time for you to connect and and um allow yourself to share that with the world so i love that um, next we're going to move on to what they call the sacred circles which is normally pentacles or coins in um, other decks and this is the earth element so this is going to be your physical adventure during the month of december which can be you know all the characters that are on stage with you all these physical human characters um, your jobs you know your body your possessions everything out there on the stage right all the other suits are more of our internalness this is all about the physical world so creator what do you want our gemini's to know about their physical adventure during the month of december please okay there we go <clears throat> So you got the four of sacred circles and I love um, again they're like in this sweat lodge um, they are um, doing the peace pipe there so I really feel um, the message that is coming through here is kind of twofold and um, with it being a four it is about grounding yourself like it has mentioned here um, getting in a place of peace. Um, I like how they're alone, getting alone. Um, the sacred circles, when it has this four on here for me, it is about grounding your worth, um, grounding your, it's like your self-worth, your foundation of who you are. Um, you know, like four, lay four strong legs on a table makes it a very strong foundation right um and um it is i don't want to say a warning but there's this um, awareness that they want to bring around defining yourself by what other people say success is what other people say something is about the opinions of the outside world because we are taught in our human side to define ourselves by what everyone thinks about us right you know it's those opinions of people or what positions we're in or um you know like i mentioned your physical body or your possessions and so all that is unstable though because people's minds they change on a drop of a dime right or they pass away 
situations never stay the same. You know, people lose jobs, um, education gets outdated, whatever it might be. I mean, then things deteriorate or they break or burn down or are stolen. So when we define ourselves by all those opinions and that outside world, we feel unstable. And so this card is about um, getting alone, getting to that place of peace, connecting, you know, top above to that unconditional love. Let that become your foundation because that is eternal. Outside is temporary. The unconditional love of the Creator is eternal and forever. There's no conditions, nothing you can do to gain it, nothing you can do to lose it. So it's solid and stable and forever versus the outside world. So this is that message really of connecting um, to that inner foundation, get into this place of peace. And I really like, it's like this little sweat lodge. It's they're getting away um, and you're getting away alone to yourself here. I'm just going to pull some cards here from this tea leaf deck and just see what else the creator wants you to know about your physical adventure during the month of December. All right, creator, what else? Okay, <laughs> what else do you want our Geminis to know about their December, please, about their physical adventure? Okay, those are going to be it here. And the first one that came out was Quilt. <laughs> I'm sorry, Quill, get back to basics. So yeah, you know, definitely I know um, I'm in my sun sign is an air sign and I can get totally caught up in my mind, you know, and having so much um, going on in my mind that I can become cluttered. And I love this. This is about clearing your mind, you know, um, getting in this place of peace, getting away from all that chaotic noise that we are talking about here. <clears throat> and then you have a pin, a new job or career. So yeah, this newness coming in here, this new direction in your life in the physical world is also, um, you know, being pinpointed here. <laughs> and I, I feel like if there's, um, you know, especially with this channeling message here and opening up your third eye, if you have been desiring to start like a spiritual business, um, this is definitely a sign, uh, a big thumbs up, like, yes, you know, develop and take step towards it uh, because that is for, for you. And it is, um, you know, designed for you to share, like we're talking about your unconditional love with the world in your own unique way. Don't think, well, this is what a spiritual person does. You know, like we mentioned, it can be cooking, um, it can be painting, it can be, you know, creating beautiful gardens for people or building ponds or whatever it is that um, you share this unconditional love and this passion with, you can impact the world. So don't um, limit yourself. Then you have the mule. Um, and it says someone is extremely stubborn and unwilling to change. <laughs> So um, that could be you. Um, it also could be someone in your external world. Um, and don't um, don't feel that you're responsible for the other people's life. You know, I'm really um, feeling this energy that we were talking about of needing to feel safe and trying to control other people. Some people are stubborn and they're not going to change. And so that's wasted energy. Um, you don't need to waste energy on all those people anymore. You can give them the world and they still would be unhappy. Um, you can't make them happy. Your actions make it an easier or a harder choice for them to choose something, but they ultimately are the emperor of their own little world and they're going to decide regardless. So think about the energy you're investing in all these projects you have, you know, in other people. I'm going to change them. I'm going to make their lives better. Um, and start with you, bring that energy back into you um, and focus on growing you and getting quiet um, and investing that energy in this direction of sharing um, yourself with the world. And you got dog barking, and that's advice from a friend. So um, 
<clears throat> what I love is that we were talking about you're going to get messages from all over the place. Um, be open to what other people are saying. Um, you don't have to take everyone's opinion on as your own, but um, you don't have to be stubborn <laughs> and be like, no, 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 no. You know, it's like, listen to what people have to say and you're going to get messages through what they're saying and they may not even know the message that they're giving you right they may say something and it's like doesn't have anything to do with what they're talking about but a phrase they say or a sentence they say is confirmation of other messages that have come through yep and you got the ladder here so climbing towards success again um, with taking those steps um, Redefining what success means to you um, is an important step, too. Sorry if you hear the screaming kids outside. They are having a blast. Or they're getting attacked by something. <laughs> Probably just having fun. Um, and this is ink pot. <laughs> and this is problems to be resolved. So definitely um, the openness to all of this. Um, and the messages that you, if you take time away to actually hear um, from up above, you're going to get messages that are going to show you ways ar around something, answers to questions where you saw no way before. Because the emperor, when you're trying to control things and you're looking at solving it from the outside world, we're very boxed in. You know, all those opinions of the outside world say, this is the way that you solve that. There's no other way. But when you open up to a higher point of view, it just blows open your whole viewpoint and your awareness of what can happen in the outside world. And suddenly you see several ways to solve um, something that was blocking your way or resolving something in your life. So I love that. Yep, and horseshoe. Good luck. So you definitely have blessings coming your way um, um, as this unfolds here. Um, and, you know, of course, we're like, do we really need luck? No matter what happens, you can see yourself as being lucky. Um, you know, sometimes you have a flat tire. It's like, ah, oh my God, blah, 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 blah. If you're like, you know what? I count myself lucky because maybe that, you know, um, tire being flat um, kept me from being in an accident down the road or getting a speeding ticket down the road. You know, it's keeping me back from something or um, pausing me so that I run into someone, not with your vehicle, but like you. Um, go to a store and you wouldn't have run into them and bumped into them in the store if you had got there on time and left already. So just understand that you are lucky every second, right? <laughs> All right, we're going to move on here to the swords. And this is your element, the air element. And this is all about your mind. So your beliefs, your mindsets, your attitudes, your expectations. And so we'll take a look here and see what the creator wants you to know about your mental adventure during the month of December. Okay, I think this is the one that is wanting to be heard. How many got the two of swords? I love this. this is such a beautiful card. You have this decisions to make, you know, and it's right above the emperor too. And there's two sides, you know, to this. So, you know, we have the one sword, which is the, the mindset of our human side, the one based in fight or flight, control, opinion, and based in fear, you know, it wants to feel safe. It wants to make decisions. I mean, the other one, and I always love how there's the moon, um, there's the other one that is connecting to the higher realms. And that is, you know, um, a message of don't feel like you have to make decisions only based on logic and the mind. It's difficult as an air sign, I understand. But um, this is a call for you to look higher, um, dig deeper, um, allow your emotions and your um, connection to the other side. Trust your gut, trust your intuition um, in making decisions during the month of December. Um, try it out and you don't have to make major decisions like, you know, if you're like um, tentative and, and making a decision going, well, I can't go off on my gut. That's, you know, that's too much. This life changing thing, you know, it's like start off with little steps. 
start off with this conversation. Like I mentioned in here, it does take time for things to unfold and for you to grow that connection. Um, and so you never have to make any decisions you don't want to make, right? But um, they really are encouraging you to at least start off with small things, right? And we're going to get another card here um, from these numerology guidance cards and just see what else the creator wants you to know about your mental adventure. But this really is um, getting out of your head and into your heart um, when you're making decisions, realizing there's more than just one of you that is connected in, your, in this life, living it with you. You've got your human side, which is the character that you're playing on here, and you have the actor behind the character that being that powerful, supernatural, eternal spirit being made of unconditional love. And so you have this access to such knowledge of your, your higher self and all those beings that are outside space and time. They have the big eye in the sky point of view, so they can give you so much information um, on, you know, what what choices to make information you're not aware of when you're down in the maze with the high walls all you see is you know left and right and backward and forward so you reach a wall and you go do i go right or do i go left i don't know you're like when you tap in from the you know the little viewpoint from up above like they're in a helicopter hovering above the maze they're like hey take a right that'll take you where you're wanting to go okay you know it becomes a beautiful process you don't stress you understand you know like you said you're you're lucky <laughs> you have good luck because you have good uh support i'm here as well all right creator what else do you want our gemini's to know about their mental adventure during december please There you go. Spirituality. So definitely card number 77, a big, you know, here's that violet. This is also, you know, the purple, the crown chakra, you know, so definitely this connection. <laughs> um, yeah. And it, you know, coming in the, um, under your mind, um, they're wanting you to focus on spirit and focus on spirit. This card indicates a need to enhance your connection to the divine to improve your relationship with yourself as well as your quality of life. You're not a human being having a spiritual experience. You're a spiritual being have a, having a human experience. <laughs> exactly what we were talking about. And your relationship with the creator, with source, is your path to inner peace. When you find your way to God, you find your way back home. You can't make this up. By selecting this card, you're being encouraged to celebrate and strengthen your relationship with the divine in which every, uh, whichever way you choose. You may opt for prayer, meditation, chanting, yoga, or periods of silence and contemplation. Perhaps quiet time in nature, going on a retreat, or attending a place of worship is something you prefer. It doesn't matter which option you choose, for there's no right or wrong. Only you can know your ultimate path to God. Exactly what we were talking about before, right? In whatever way that you want to connect, whatever way you want to share that unconditional love with the world is up to you. You're also being urged to communicate with your lost loved ones, spirit guides, and angels, and ask for assistance when required. No request goes unanswered, and no request is too big or too small. All right, you know, <laughs> you definitely have a consistent message here. Um, so they're wanting to come through loud and clear um, to take time to connect to the spiritual realm. It's going to change your life. <laughs> And lastly, we're going to move into the cups, which is the emotions, of course. It's the water element. And this is just going to be what emotional adventure you're going to have in the month of December. I can't imagine that it's not going to be an amazing one of transforming from, you know, a feeling of stress and loss into one of connection um, and abundance, you know. And I know... You know, when you lose a loved one, 
and they're not here in the physical realm. You know, connecting at a spiritual level is different. It's not going to feel the same, um, but it's going to be a beautiful different because, um, you know, before you were limited by time and space with your loved ones that, you know, have gone to the other side. They, you, you know, they had to work or they had their errands and you weren't spending 24 hours a day with them. But when, uh, as soon as we leave our earthly body and we turn in our rental car, as I call it, we are with each and every single one of our loved ones every second, 100%. We don't have to split ourselves among our loved ones. You know, it's like, well, I've got, you know, it's like if a, a parent has five kids, they don't have to split and bounce in between them. They can be all five places all at once, 100% of the time. That's how amazing we are as beings on the other side. We can be in multiple places all at once and be 100% present all at once. We don't have to split our time. So um, that's important for some of you. All right, Creator, what do you want Geminis to know about their emotional adventure during the month of December, please? Yep, and now you had said he had the prince, he had the knight of wands, and now you have the prince of cups or the knight of cups. Um, and this cup that they have, this is the chalice, the holy grail. It's the um, vessel that holds the unconditional love of the creator. It's the living waters. Um, and so this is about, you know, knights are about action. Um, and so this is about bringing action bringing this love, bringing that um, into your life and letting it flow. Let that love that you're going to connect to flow um, and um, let it flow out into your life. You don't have to hold it back. Um, you don't even have to feel vulnerable um, with that because as you fill up with that unconditional love, you're, you're like that, this Ace of Cups, which is what this is, is, you know, you're this big chalice that the love of the Creator you allow to um, come into you, it fills you up, and then it just naturally overflows out to the world. You don't even have to try, <laughs> you know, um, it just becomes natural. You focus on you and feeling that love within, and then it just you know, your life changes from the inside out. All right. And then finally, um, for the, not finally, but the final card we're going to um, have here is from the Sacred Destiny Oracle. And um, it can be about your emotional adventure during the month of December. But since it's the last card for the reading, I'm also going to allow it or intend for it to be a wild card, which can be whatever remaining message the Creator has for you for the month of December. So Creator, what's your final message for our Geminis, please? Okay, like that is the one. Yep, and you got community, beautiful butterflies and rainbows. And I feel that this is really about your your upper community here, <laughs> that that whole support team you have on the other side. Um, you know, it really reminds me of the Three of Cups energy, um, which for me is about all of our, uh, you know, those beings of unconditional love and light on the other side that are um, bringing us the support, the messages, the love, the guidance, um, more importantly, the love, the love, the love. And if butterflies um, sometimes can, you know, be a special message for people for um, from those who have passed as well. So if you see butterflies, you know, just understand that. Um, it can be um, a loved one going, wink, wink, hey, I'm here. Um, so this is the ancient forest and the towering ancient trees in a forest look distinct from one another, yet beneath the surface of the earth, their roots are intertwined. The roots act like a kind of communication system through the community of trees. Instantaneous messages travel through this underground system. Nutrients can travel on this network. So trees 
at one side of the forest can supply nourishment required on the other side of the forest. I love the other side <laughs> reference there. Danger at one end of the network is communicated to the far end of the intertwined roots. So I love that when the other side, you know, meaning the other side, capital O, other, S side, um, the other side of the realm of the veil, and they have communication that can come to you. And the sacred landscape wants you to know that support is all around you, even if you are not consciously aware of it. Allow yourself to be supported. Give encouragement to others. The more you allow yourself to be supported, the more your dreams can come true. If you believe that you have to do it all alone, you will. <laughs> your true family is not just blood relationships. Sometimes the strongest family ties are friends who know who, who you are. Sometimes they are your ancestors and soul family who reside in spirit. This card speaks of finding your community and your people. It's a card of remembering that your people are at your side, believing in you, loving you, and standing strong beside you. Call on your community and ask for their assistance. They are only a thought away. <laughs> yeah, so that pretty much sums it up. You are not alone, they're only a call away. So. Beautiful, beautiful December coming for you. Um, the veil is going to be very thin, um, so you can take the opportunity to connect to a higher place. Um, and like I said, doing that is just going to change your world if you choose to do so. So I love this. And just know as you're going throughout every moment of every day, you are unconditionally loved by the creator of all things, the mother and father of all things. I'm going to end the reading there. I just also want to let you know, in addition to these monthly readings, I do weekly readings by each of the elements, so like fire signs, water signs, etc. I also do like new moon and full moon readings and a variety of other readings. So if you want to be kept in the loop when those come out and see what other messages or energy are coming in for you, if you haven't done so already, if you click the subscribe button down below, then that will cause this little notification bell to pop up. Um, and just choose what setting you want on that when you click on it, and you will get notified when new readings come out. It's easy breezy. All right. Well, know that I also love you dearly, and I'm sure I'll be talking to you very soon. But until then, you have an amazing December, and you take care.